Indoor work lighting is mainly to meet the requirements of visual work. The steps of task lighting design are first, select the lighting method, second, determine lighting standards, third, select the light source and lamps, fourth, arrange lamps, fifth, lighting calculation. Let's first take a look at the lighting methods. This diagram represents four types of lighting. Figure A is general lighting. It belongs to uniform lighting and does not consider special local needs. It is suitable for work points. Light have no special requirements for the projection direction of light. No special need to improve visibility on the work surface. And places where the work points are very dense and not fixed. However, it is not economical for tall room with high illumination requirements. Fig B is the general lighting of the drone suitable for areas with different illumination requirements in the room, such as open plane office. Fig C is local illumination. It is usually set in places with high illumination requirements or special requirements for light direction, serving specific visual work and only illuminating a small area. Should not be used alone so as not to cause great brightness contrast. Fig D is a fixed lighting. It consists of general lighting and local lighting. It can meet the requirements of high illumination and high direction of the working point. It is more economical for places with high illumination requirements. In order to avoid excessive brightness contrast, there are requirements for the ratio of the illumination of general lighting to the total illuminance. Lighting standards include lighting quantity and lighting quality. Due to the complexity of the mirroring and calculating the brightness of the object, the lighting quantity is set according to the illuminance value of the work surface or reference plane. If one or more of the following conditions are met, the illuminance on the work surface will be increased by one level. First, the fair work with high visual requirements. The distance from the eye to the recognized object is more than 500 mm. Second, continuous long-term intense visual work which has adverse effects on the visual organs. Third, recognize moving objects. The recognition time is short and it is difficult to distinguish. Fourth, visual operations have an important impact on optional safety. Fifth, difficulty in identifying objects and backgrounds. Sixth, the operation accuracy is high and the error will cause great loss. Seventh, visual ability below normal. Eighth, high building level and functional requirements. If one or more of the following conditions are met, the illuminance on the work surface will be reduced by one level. First, job accuracy or speed is not required. Second, short time work. Third, the building grade and functional requirements are low. The illuminance of adjacent surroundings with a wide of not less than 0.5 meter outside the working surface may be duller than the illuminance of working surface, but shall not exceed the specified value. The illuminance of general lighting in the background air of the working surface should not be lower than one-third of the surrounding illuminance of the working surface. Lighting quality refers to the brightness distribution in the light environment, including all the brightness distributions that are conductive to visual function, comfort, e.g. to viewing, safety, and aesthetics. Factors affecting the light quality include glare, color, uniformity, reflectance, etc. To ensure lighting quality, direct glare, reflected glare, and light curtain reflectance need to be limited. Direct glare includes disability glare and discomfort glare. Limiting discomfort glare can limit disability glare. Uncomfortable glare was involved using the unified glare rating. The unified glare value is a psychological parameter that measures the subjective response of the light emitted by the lighting device in the visual environment to the uncomfortable feeling of the human eye. This indicator is used in the following situations. First, suitable for simple tube-shaped rooms, not suitable for rooms with indirect lighting and luminous ceilings. 
Second, it is suitable for the light emitting part of the lamp to form a solid angle range of 0.1 to 0.0003 in radians to the eyes. Third, lamps of the same type are arranged evenly and at equal in the values. Fourth, the lamps have double symmetrical light distribution. Fifth, the height of the eyes of the sitting observer is 1.2 meter, and the height of the eyes of the standing observer is 1.5 meter. Six, the observation position is at the midpoint of the vertical and horizontal walls, with the line of sight level facing forward, and the glare calculation position is taken as a point in the room at a distance of 1 meter from the center of the gable wall. Seventh, the room surface includes the working surface about 0.75 meter above the ground, the lamp installation surface and the wall between these two surfaces. The light curtain reflection is due to the regular reflection of the visual object, which reduces the brightness contrast between the visual object and the background, making it difficult to see the details. It is a phenomenon like the regular reflection and the diffuse reflection over lamp. The evaluation index of light curtain reflection is the contrast representation factor, which is used to evaluate the influence of light curtain reflection generated by the lighting system on the visibility of the work. It is equal to the ratio of a job's visibility and a given lighting condition to the job's visibility and a reference lighting condition, usually with luminous contrast instead of visibility. In order to reduce or eliminate the direct glare caused by direct temp lamps, the seating angle of the lamps should not be less than the specified value in the table. Think about it, what else is there to do? Measures to prevent or reduce light curtain reflection and reflective glare include First, install the lamps in areas that are not prone to glare. Second, use low gloss surface decoration materials. Third, limit the luminous brightness of the surface of the light outlet of the lamp. First, the average illuminance of the wall should not be lower than 30% of the average luminance of the working surface. Fifth, the average luminance of the ceiling should not be lower than 20% of the average luminance of the working surface. The correlated color temperature of the light source is different, and the feeling of the cold and warm is different. When the correlated color temperature is greater than 5300 Kelvin, it produces a cold feeling, and when it is less than 3300 Kelvin, it produces a warm feeling. Cool colors are generally used in high illumination, hot workshops, etc. Warm colors are generally used in leisure places, and immediate colors are used in general public buildings. The subjective perception produced by the color of the light source is related to the illuminance. Low illumination is suitable for low color temperature light source, and high illumination is suitable for high color temperature light source. In place where you work or stay for a long time, the general color rendering index of the light source should not be less than 80. RA of industrial buildings with a lamp installation height greater than 8 meter can be lower than 80, but it must be able to distinguish safety colors. Illumination uniformity is equal to the ratio of maximum illuminance to average illuminance. The general lighting in working rooms of public buildings and working areas of industrial buildings should not be less than 0.7. The surrounding air of the working surface should not be less than 0.5. The general lighting illuminance value of walkways and non-working areas in the workplace should not be less than one-third of the general lighting illuminance value of working area. Appropriate reflectance can maintain a certain proportion of the brightness of each surface in the room, so light the visual effect is comfortable and effective. The brightness of the environment adjacent to the work surface should be lower than that of the work surface, but not less than one-third of the brightness of the work surface. 
the arrangement of the lamps for general lighting obtains uniform illuminance by selecting appropriate spacing height rito. The spacing height rito refers to the rito of the distance L of the luminary to the calculated height HRT. In order to keep the illuminance around the room from being too low, the distance from the lamps against the wall to the wall should be controlled within the range of 0.2L to 0.3L. Semi-indirect and indirect luminaries need to control the distance SCC from the luminary to the reflective surface, such as the ceiling, in order to ensure uniform illumination on the reflective surface. The layout of lamps should also consider the architectural structure, process equipment, power pipelines, electrical safety, maintainers, and other technical requirements of the lighting place. You can measure the illuminance of the surrounding buildings to see if it meets the illuminance standard. Analyze the reasons for the situation, let it too low or too high, and try to give solutions.